Hi. As you can see, I am an AI-generated avatar, and this is the first episode in an upcoming and hopefully long series about everything between heaven and earth. Today I will talk about the phenomenon of consciousness. So, what is consciousness? And why does consciousness exist? Well, consciousness is a universal force of nature that exists everywhere. The force of nature seeks to expand via attraction, hunger, desire, and drive. The force of nature exists in everything from atoms, molecules, and cells to highly developed organisms and ecosystems. Consciousness is not necessarily self-defining as we humans think and understands it. It is simply a force that works in an infinite number of ways. The human definition of consciousness is thus extremely deficient and primitive, as we do not yet understand coherently. Consciousness exists as a kind of unknown type of wave frequencies, which with a little goodwill can be compared with FM, AM or Wi-Fi signals. It's all around us, but we can neither see nor feel it. Consciousness exists because it is the all-important force of nature that makes existence possible. Without consciousness nothing would exist. That nothing exists is not possible, because the force of nature itself exists. The force of nature is infinite, like time. It has always existed and always will. There is thus no starting time or end to this universal force of nature. The universal force of nature which we call consciousness existed thus before, what we call Big Bang, the birth of our universe, whereby Big Bang was just a local event in infinity. Our universe is thus just one out of infinitely many universes, all created by universal forces of nature and therefore all in the form of consciousness. Consciousness cannot and must not only be perceived and understood as in the human perception and understanding of the concept. Of course, human consciousness is part of the force of nature, therefore obviously valid and rational, but the understanding is far from adequate, because the force of nature exists on all planes and levels, large and small. For example, humans cannot perceive and understand consciousness in atomic and molecular structures, etc., therefore we are better served by considering this as a force of nature. This was my presentation on consciousness. Now you can hear questions and answers and other formulations on the subject of consciousness in the next video. Click next, follow, like and subscribe. See you.